Thanks for joining Strong and Stretch this afternoon. We're gonna get right into it. We have a three minute warm up. So we're gonna warm up your hips real quick. So with your left leg, you're gonna pull your left leg up to a hamstring curl, extend it out to the front. So it's almost kind of like a horse kick, or like a wheelbarrow rolling forward and back like a wheel. Really warming up through your hip joints. Now, today's workout, we are gonna be doing uh, two seven minute blocks of work and then in between a three minute stretch because we have strong and stretched. Last one. And now we go out to the side, pull your knee up first, extend it out, and then pull it back in, up and out, up and out. So getting that medial glute engaged. Let's do three more. Two. Last one. Same thing, other side. Bring it forward. Pull and extend. So now our seven minutes of block. I'm gonna give you um, a certain amount of exercises and you're gonna complete it on your own for that whole seven minutes. I'll explain a little bit more once we get into it. A few more. Last one, out to the side, pull your knee up, extend, pull it back in. So we're focusing on your hip joint, that hip and socket. Hope everyone had a great holiday weekend. Halloween, two more, last one, woo, balance. And come into a wide stance, down to your squat, reach your arms up, down and up. Feeling your whole foot against the ground, sinking your hips back towards your heels. Squeeze your glutes to return. Last five. Three, two, and one. Reach it up, hold it here till up and over to one side, and center, and other side. Keep tilting. Hips stay stable. Using your obliques to return. With a nice lat stretch. One more each. And let's do some reverse lunges. Down, pull your knee up, and return, same thing, other side. Now we have about less than 10 seconds left of our warm up. We have about a 45 second transition into our workout. Now, keep going on your end with the reverse lunges. Our exercises, I'm gonna use 15 pounds. You have, the magic number is 10. Five reverse lunges on one side, five on the other, so 10 total. Next, you have a front squat. Your front squat looks like so. Rack it up, elbows up, 10 squats. And then set your hand weights down, hold it, lift and lower. That's your third exercise. Then you have a squat, down, down, up, down, down. You circle through for seven minutes four exercises. We start in three seconds. Grab your hand weights. Okay, seven minutes. Time starts now. You can go at my pace or at your own. I'll keep talking to you. So try to lower your back knee all the way down to the ground. It's not about speed, it's about control. Five lunges each side. Now I'm using 15 pounds. If you're going a little bit lighter, that's fine too. Or you can go heavier. Then front squat, rack it up to the shoulders, elbows high, wide stance. Down, squeeze. Power to press up. I have one more. Let's set my hand weights down. Find your isolated squat. Lift and lower, calf raises. 10 total, 10. Two more. Now, power jump. 
in, out, power, in, out. Options, rise up to the balls of the feet and step, 10 total. Those are your exercises, gang. Rallying your glutes. And you start from the top. Now, take breaks when you need to. You have about five and a half minutes left. Going at your own pace. I'm back to my reverse lunges. Four exercises. Then you have a front squat. This is my last one. I rack it up, elbows up, think down. Now another option, you can always set one hand weight down or to the front if you're feeling pain in your low back. Calf raises, sink it low. I have four more. Squat jump. Now on your end, try to get in at least four rounds. At least four rounds. Whew. You can do it. For about three minutes in, you can definitely get those four rounds in. Doing good. It's nice to switch it up every now and then. Do a little different format. I have my front squat. 10 of everything. Relax your shoulders, head and neck. Calf raises, jump squats. Now again, remember your modifications. Up, down, step. Are we feeling our legs yet? I definitely feel my quads. Whew. Take a little breather when you need to. Two and a half minutes left of work. Now I'm going on to round four. Let's see if I can get five rounds in. Shoulders stacked on top of your hips if you're into your lunges. Front squats. So you have your reverse lunges. Front squat, calf raises, jump squat. You can do the calf raises with or without your hand weights. Sink it low. Now we jump. Whew. Whew. Who's on to round five or maybe six? Keep it up. Now we stretch. Now, wherever you're at within the seven minutes, we're gonna stop it there and then move on to the yoga portion. Whew. Feeling that Halloween candy today, man. Whew. 
Front squat. Thirty seconds left. Keep it up. Then we're done with legs. Whew. You have 15 seconds left. I'm gonna keep going with reverse lunges. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Grab a quick drink of water. Meet me at the back of your mat. Take a deep breath. And exhale. Take a deep inhale. Now as you exhale, gang, roll it down one vertebrae at a time. Walk it out to your plank. Hold it here. Lift one leg. And down, other side. Set it down. Bring your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Reach your right arm up. Lift and rotate. Return, find your plank, other side, left. Twist, rotate, return, find your plank, downward dog. Now walk your hands back, roll it back up one vertebrae at a time, roll your shoulders back, take a deep inhale. We're just breathing, exhale. Again, take a deep inhale. And now exhale, we go again, roll it down one vertebrae at a time. Walk it out, one leg lifts. Set it down, other side. Right foot to the outside of the hand. Right arm reaches up, torso rotation. Set it down, replace, other side. Reach, set it down, find your plank, downward dog. Pedal through your ankles. And now walk it back. Roll it back up one vertebrae at a time. Roll your shoulders back. We do it one more time. Take a deep inhale. We're just breathing. And exhale. Deep inhale. And we go again. Exhale. Nod your chin, rounding forward. Walk it out. Find your plank. One leg lift and down, and the other, and down. Right leg outside of the hand, torso rotation. Return, replace, other side, twist. Return, find your plank, and your downward dog. Hold it here, pedal through your feet, pedal through your ankles, reaching long through your spine. Go ahead and walk it back to your feet. Roll back up one vertebrae at a time. Head to the last to return. Roll your shoulders back. Just standing here, take a deep inhale. And exhale. Deep inhale. And exhale. And release, good. You get 45 seconds off. Grab a quick drink of water. Ooh, I need to blow my nose real quick, sorry. Is the season. Next group of exercises. Heavier hand weights. I'm using my 15. You can use 8s, 10s, 12s, whatever you have. Up to the right, down left. Same arm as leg. Magic number 10. Five each side. Five each side. Next up, kneeling bicep curls. 10. Third exercise. Ooh, here's the abs. Reach your legs long. Single leg lower. I'll throw out some modifications. Then you have a chest press, okay? And then push-ups. We go in three, two, one. One leg forward. If you're doing mirror image, your left leg is forward. Reach up to the left, down right. We go for seven minutes. Five each side, total of 10. Next up, kneeling bicep curls. 
heavier hand weight or two lighter, two medium, 10 bicep curls. So I'm using one heavier. You can use two eights, two tens. I have two more. Good, take a seat. Weight to the chest, legs go long. Single leg lower, five each side. Options here. You can lower down to your forearms and do one leg at a time or bend, okay? Next up, five each side. Chest press, down to the ground. Legs down or up, 10 chest presses. Now if you're using lighter hand weights, try a chest fly instead. Our last exercise is push-ups, push-ups. You have 10 push-ups. Then we go again. Keep it up. I'm just gonna angle my camera down a little bit further. So you can see. You can do your push-ups modified or up to your feet. I'm gonna try to catch up to the rest of you. Back to your wood chops. Whatever leg is forward, you're reaching up to that side first. Five of each. Now because upper body goes a little bit quicker, we're doing five exercises. Kneeling biceps, kneeling biceps. After this, seated single leg, Lower for your abs. Now again, you can do this with or without your hand weight, but if you're doing the advanced version, you want your dumbbell, rack it up to your chest, legs go long. One leg at a time, five each side. Belly button toward your spine. Chest press or chest fly. Legs down or up. Up for more challenge, either into your tabletop or if you want more ab challenge, send your legs straight. Push-ups are next. Modify down to your knees or up to your feet. Try it up to your feet first. Then you can always scale down. Whoo! I'm feeling my arms already. Back to our wood chops. Whatever exercise you're on, you have about three minutes, 15 seconds left. Over halfway there. Now with your wood chops, you wanna make sure you have a heavy enough weight. You're gonna feel this in your biceps, your pecs, deltoids. We are working your obliques as well. Kneeling biceps. 10 of everything, or if it's single leg, five. 10 total. I'm on to my ab exercise. Now, yes, this is about how many rounds you can get in, but they're good rounds. Make sure your form is good. I'm into my chest press. Legs down, up or to your diagonal. Back to back pecs. Whoo! Less than two minutes left. Home stretch. And then we literally stretch.
<sighs> and what I like about this format is it allows you to go at your own pace, whether that's faster or a little bit slower. Whatever works for you. If you need to take breaks in between, that's fine. These 15s are getting heavy. I'm trying to stick with it. I'm not lowering down. Less than one minute left. Ugh. Hands are sweaty though. You're doing exhales on your exertion. Now again, whatever your exercise you're on at that seven minute mark, we stop there. Fifteen seconds, fifteen. Then we stretch. Last five, four, three, two, and one. And break, nice work everyone. Set your hand weights off to the side. Grab a quick drink of water. We're gonna stay down to the ground. Okay, bring yourself down to your knees. Place your left leg forward, little pelvic tilt and little lunge. Right arm, reach up and over. Return back center. Send your left leg straight and hinge. Hamstring stretch. I'm trying to give you all different angles here. And now shift your body weight forward. We go into a full low lunge. Holding it here, you can always lower. Bottom knee down to get a little bit deeper of a uh, hip flexor stretch. Lower your back knee down, shift it back into your hamstrings. Return back up, same thing, other side. Right leg forward, little pelvic tilt. We lunge, left arm reaches up and over. And return. Send your right leg straight and hinge, hammies. And now shift your weight forward. Find your low lunge. Drop your back knee, back to your hamstring stretch. And return one more each side, back to the first side, pelvic tilt and lunge. We speed it up just a little bit, up and over. Feels good to get a little bit of a longer stretch in today. And return, send your left leg straight, hinge forward. Let's shift it forward into your full low lunge. You may have to adjust a little bit. Drop your back knee back to your hamstring stretch. And return, other side. Pelvic tilt, little lunge. Reach up and over. Send your right leg straight, hinge. Shift it forward into your low lunge. And drop your back knee, back to your hamstring stretch. And return back up. We're gonna stretch your groin. Set your hands down into all fours. Separate your knees and hinge back kind of into a froggy stretch. Just holding it here. And gently release, bring it back to all fours for a cat cow. Exhale, rounding your mid back up toward the ceiling. Inhale, extend. Exhale, round. Inhale, extend. Exhale, round. Inhale, extend. Last one, gang. Rounding it up and extend. 
and we release. You are all done. Nice work today, everyone.